Hey, what's up guys? It's Caleb. In this video, I wanted to talk about a new database design program website that I found. Uh, I literally just found it like 15 minutes ago, so don't judge me if I know like nothing about it. <laughs> but anyways, I just wanted to share it because I thought it'd be really useful for a lot of you guys. Alright, so it's called Vertabello. I, I think it's pronounced that. I'm not entirely sure. V-E-R-T-A-B-E-L-O dot com. And what you can do is you can try it now for free once you get there. You don't have to create an account or anything. But uh, I already created an account. It's really easy. So I'm just going to log in. And when you first get there, the cool thing about this is you're not just limited to a MySQL, for example. Like when I did my uh, MySQL Workbench series or video. You can do all these different relational or these all these different uh, database management systems. Uh, there is one thing, though. They do have free accounts and then they have paid accounts. So, for example, from, SQ, uh, from SQL, if you want to create a table from SQL, you have to be either professional or enterprise account. So, the free the free accounts you can have up to three models right now and twenty tables per model. So, I can just I'll just show you what it's like here. So, subscribe, hint hint. And then we'll just start with an empty diagram. So nothing already created. Alright, so this is what it looks like. It's a lot of stuff at once, but it's pretty simple. Over here on the left, we have the model structure, which tells us everything we have. Our tables, our references. And then over here on the right, we have all of our information about our stuff in our database. So um, we can... First things first, we can uh, click Add New Table, boom, right there. We can move it around, and then over here on the information, we have a new table that we can change the settings. So, for example, user ID, and then I, you could put a description in here if you really wanted to. Okay, my bad. That'd be the table. So you'd want that to be user, and then we can add a column, make it user ID, int primary key. And then uh, we could uh, go into more detail, but I mean, it's fine how it is now. But if you want, you could have it like set specifically the storage method, and then you can comment on it or anything like that. But I'm just going to leave it how it is, and I'm going to add another column, just make it username, and we'll just make that like, uh, let's see, Varchar. Let's go. 40. That's pretty big, but it'll work. So that's this example of what we can do. And then we can create another table. And in here we'll just we'll just say this is a table that needs a foreign key to the user ID. And what we can do is we can just say uh, add a column and just make it user ID. Oh another thing real quick before I do this. If you create a if you create a relationship before you have a column, uh, it'll it'll automatically create that column for you, which can be good or bad in some instances, but see here, oops, I didn't mean to do that. So here we have, it created user, user ID, which I mean, I, I like to name them the same thing, but that will be foreign key pointing back to user ID. It's a one-to-many relationship. So that's one thing you can do. And then over here on our model structure, we have our tables and um, let's see. We also have our references. So if we click our references, it'll bring that up and it'll give us extra information. So user ID from the user table is the primary key. User ID from table two is the foreign key. And then we can say if that's able to be null or not. So yeah, that's some things you can do. You can also um, do some database just in general modification which I'm um, trying to figure out how I had to do that it's the way just gonna look around real quick uh, da, 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 da. all right well if you want to change like the engine for a user for this specific table you can do that and uh, you can basically you can decide if you want to set that or not and then um, what you can do is you can leave this model and it'll be saved and it's online so you can access it anywhere which I just think is like super awesome so you can reopen it and it picks up right where you left off you don't have to worry about losing your data from a crash or anything like that so here we can get some model details and uh, if you want to delete the model you can do that 
and you can also do other things like generate an image or clone it or view the diagram. You can also go to additional properties and this will give us the defaults for everything within this model. So if you want by default the table engine to be um, InnoDB for example, then you could do that and then you can save that and that's what it will be whenever you create a new table. So you go back to your models, uh, you can open that or you, if you want you could preview that and see what that looks like. So this is a preview where you don't really get to edit anything but here you can view all of the information and um, you can also go back to the diagram which allows you to edit it. So yeah I think that's pretty awesome. Another cool thing is it has some, integ some integration with its coding so you can have uh, additional SQL scripts and you can have SQL previews telling you the uh, structure. Yeah, so yeah, uh, that's just an example. So this would be the SQL used to create this table, which can help you learn SQL if you're weak at it, or you can just use it for simplicity's sake, so you don't have to type it all up yourself. Uh, you can also do some other things, generate SQL scripts, yada yada, I haven't really looked into any of that, but I'm sure you can do some cool stuff or some pictures or XML. So yeah, uh, that's all I really have to say about this. Uh, I want you guys to go check it out and let me know what you think, if it's useful. Um, yeah, and there's also like, you can invite people if you really want and get some, some money. But I mean, who really cares? You have to invite them by email. But uh, yeah, if you want to look into that, you can go to invite people. And uh, you can put their email here in a little message. And basically, you get like, if you invite someone and they become a professional or enter enterprise account, you get 50 bonus points. And basically every 100 bonus points is the equivalent to $100. So I mean, it's not bad if you're good at inviting people and they buy stuff. So yeah, another cool thing, they have problems down here. So uh, you can figure out how to fix that stuff. So like obviously this table should have a primary key which it doesn't right now. And this one you should change default table name because table two is a pretty stupid name. So yeah, that's, it. that's just an example. Oh, that's that's kind of where the many to many sign go. Oh, there it goes. That was weird. I mean one to many. All right, well, yeah, that's all I have to say. So thank you for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if you'd like any more videos over any kind of videos because I'm open to anything. All right, so catch you later and be sure to subscribe. Like, seriously, come on, guys, just subscribe, please. <laughs> How many times do I have to ask you?